Okay, so I'm going to feature a song. I don't remember listening to it before, but apparently I did because I left a comment. <laughs> so that's what I am talking about when it comes to uh, Alejandro, Scary Pool Party. It's like, so badly want him to like pick a genre and stick with that, but I know he likes to, you know, mess around with different avenues. But that's where I, you know, your fan base kind of really doesn't know or invest much interest because they're expecting one thing and you're doing another. And that's when somebody had made the comment like, you know, he's, it's artist integrity. Yeah, that's very true. But as his goal always was, was to make music, you're going to lose fan base because you're not... Because you're trying out these different things. And I can, it would be like if Eminem or Lil Wayne or those type of guys, you know them for rapping, hardcore raps or diss raps, whatever the case may be. And then all of a sudden, if they went to R&B, you'd be like, what the hell is this? Like, I'm not, I'm not getting this at all. And I guess he's not R&B, but like, if you listen to a beautiful song like Beach House, and then the next thing you know, he's putting this. You'd be kind of like, like, say you never knew of him before. I think a lot of people would be like, what the hell is this? Like, is this the same dude? So like I said, I think that's where his artist integrity is kind of muddying a much larger fan base. You just want to, like, if I could tell him, like, you know, stick to one thing you know, have that longevity in the industry because he could carve out easily a huge million, you know, plus subscribers, all that stuff in, uh, you know, very easily. But I think his messing around and then putting it out there is what throws people off. And if I'm wrong, you know, this is just my opinion, but this compared to like Out Loud or Beach House or, you know, all those other songs that are absolutely beautiful, like Yellow, that he covered. It, then if somebody were to tell me, did you know this is him? I'd be like, oh God, no, really? So give this a listen if you've never heard it before. See, it, to me, it's just because he's kind of let out his personality before as far as, you know, he doesn't drink, he doesn't do drugs. He likes to play video games. He likes anime, all that kind of stuff that he put out there. You know, it just doesn't fit and I think that's where it becomes a casualty in the music industry. Because if you look at people who were kind of just posing, he's not sticking with this, obviously. But if you ever see, I always say this, and I know people get, a, you know, if I get, you know, blowback, which I have before in saying this, that's fine. But Tupac was one of the biggest posers ever. Sure, he was good at, you know, putting what they call bars together and you know his his songs were i mean to this day are still extremely you know popular with people he could use a a, a rap to respect women and moms and then you know on the next one come out and you know just rip it apart doing the exact opposite but the reason why i call him a poser is he never was a gangbanger from you know, L.A. or New York out east. I mean, the dude, fuck, freaking for his credit, went to, um, I can't believe I'm going to forget it now. Shoot. I'm going to pause it right here and get the name. So, yeah, I had to finally get it. Juilliard. I mean, he attended Juilliard. You have to be extremely talented. I don't take anything away from what he did talent-wise, but... When you start coming out and doing all this stuff that he did, he kind of brought this violence upon himself. Just being boisterous, it doesn't end well for posers. Look at somebody like, you know, I, I only discovered him last year because he did that collab with Eminem, but Juice World, I know he passed away from, you know, in fear of the... We, what was it, the DEA at the Chicago airport where he just swallowed down 60 Oxycontin tablets? I mean, again, he was raised in the suburbs, you know, great parents by all accounts. 
I mean, he was blessed with being able to do what he did. But when you start mixing that with, you know, people that weren't raised that way, I mean, it falls back and blows back on you. And I'm glad that Alejandro here hasn't done that. But to get me convinced that, you know, wow, this was a really good song would be very difficult just for what he has let his fans know how he really is. And being so humble, then you jump to this, it's kind of like, ah, this is hard to listen to. My opinion again, really well.